Hello everybody and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple box there is some mystery math and your challenge is to figure out what it is. You can use the link in the description to try this out, put in as many numbers as you like, and when you think you've got an idea, come on back and see if we get the same thing. All right, let's start. I'm going to put in a zero. Okay. So zero gives us negative two. How about a one? Gives us negative 1.8, so it looks like we've gone up by 0.2. Let's try a 2. There's negative 1.6, we've gone up by another 0.2. Let's try 3. And the pattern continues, and we've gone up by another 0.2. So it looks like we've got a line here. Let's maybe put in some negative values, see if we're, we're going to continue this line. So negative 1. And that, oh, so that is a, a negative 1.8. So we've actually gone up there too. Let's put in a negative 2. And that's negative 1.6. So it looks like we're getting symmetry around that y axis. And because I thought this was a line, um, it's not a curve there, um, but we're going up on the other side, it looks like we've got an absolute value. So our basic function is f of x equals the absolute value of x. I think we've um, got a multiplier going on. This is much more shallow than that typical uh, absolute value of x function. And you can tell what the multiplier is by looking at the slopes of these lines. And this one was going up by 0.2 each, each step we went over to the right. 0.2 is the same as 1 fifth. So I think our multiplier is 1 fifth. We'll test this in a minute when we get the rest of the equation. Uh, but I think that's the multiplier. And then instead of uh, starting at the origin, it looks like our, our vertex here is moved two down. So we went down two here, and that's just a minus two on the end of the function. So let's let's test one or two points here. I'm actually going to put in a five. We haven't graphed that yet. I'm going to put in a five. So five, absolute value, and one-fifth. So that would be uh, just a five times one fifth is one minus two. So one minus two would be negative one. So if I put in a five, we should get a negative one. So let's try that. So there's five. And we did get a negative one. Wonderful. And if we put in a negative five, we'd get a, also a negative one. That looks good. And we could test some of these other points, but I think we've got this. So I'm going to go ahead and reveal. And there it is, 1 fifth times the absolute value of x minus 2. And let's graph that. A very wide and shallow uh, absolute value function. Well, how did that go for you? Were you thinking linear like I was? Let me know. Thanks, everybody.